This is Twit. Here is the Google Graveyard for 2021, courtesy Android Police. It's a crowded place, this. The last service to be killed this year shall be the first in this reverse chronological list, they say. Angular JS. Wait a minute. They killed Ang. Oh, no. Ang they lives on his Angular. They just took the JS out. Okay. Oh. No, well, that's, that's no big deal. Then. That's not death. That's not death. That's this uh, one, though. Renaming Second newsletter. One amazed me. We, we hardly knew ye. It's a, is this newsletter a newsletter? Yeah. Well, it was a newsletter service. It was, it was launched around for like three months. <laughs> and it never really worked, and they're killing it before it's it was launched started. And died in the same time quarter. It's wow. The, it's quarter. the veal wow. of services gone before you know it, you know? Newsletter. Ugh. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you know, the problem with doing this is that if people invest time and energy into creating a newsletter or a muse, maybe this is the problem, a newsletter, <laughs> and uh, then it gets killed a month later, it's like, I don't think anybody can actually use it like, yet. Oh. Yeah, I feel like, you know, I would have seen marketing for it because I get marketed as just about every new newsletter or service out yeah. there. This was uh, from uh, the Google Area 120 team, their experimental team. Google Toolbar, which had been around for 21 years, but I don't think anybody used toolbars with browsers these days, right? Um, no, they, they went through this as, as a kind of wonderful um, uh, nostalgic visit to yeah. decade ago. Yeah. Yeah, remember we had, the, we, we'd have the toolbar. Uh, there were all sorts of toolbars. You'd sometimes in your browser have three or four stacked back because mostly because browsers didn't do anything. The Google, uh, the Google toolbar basically was a search box below the address bar. And had built-in Google translation support. Yeah, we don't need that because you just type it in. You don't need it anymore. Uh, Google My Maps app. The I didn't know this existed, but I use no, the web here. version of this all the time. Yeah, that will that and that will continue on. It's and only the Android app. Yeah. So what does it do? You can create like like actually we are going to Portland right after Christmas, hopefully, unless it snows. Um, and I just created like a map for like, this is where our hotel is. These oh. are the four restaurants we want to eat at. You just save everything you want to do. And it's, it's like when you'd go to AAA and they give you a trip tick. It was, a, and they'd give you, so it was a paper map and you, you'd tell them and they'd mark off the route and all the places you're going to stop and all that stuff. AAA used to do yeah. that. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> There's also a service called Road Tripper and I've actually used that service and it's really good. It seems like that would be, that should be built into maps. Like you should be able to give it waypoints in maps, and right. I don't understand why they don't. I've do always that. thought this. Do not. Yeah, I'm like, why? Why is Google leaving this by the side of the road? Because it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. I guess you can do. You can view your my maps using Google Maps, but they didn't yes. want to make the complexity of creating a map be part of Google Maps. So if you go to Google.com/slash well, it does, you know, this is the other problem. Here's no the, maps for you. Here's the address. No soup for you. Here's the address. Google.com slash maps slash D slash U slash zero slash. I don't, that doesn't seem that memorable, but you can create a new map and all that. So that's cool. I like that. I hope they don't kill that. You can even add layers. That's yeah, neat. no, it's a really, it's a nice tool. Yeah. Just so what they're killing is the Android uh, version of right. that. Right. Just yeah. the app. It's just the app. Uh, now I've lost my place by... Uh, next was September 30, Google Bookmarks. Google? Now, yeah, I'll have to go back. There we go. Google Bookmarks. Well... But they didn't kill bookmarks. This this was set me terribly when I saw the first... This isn't book. the that's bookmarks in Chrome. This is no. the... That's bookmark. You know, like Delicious, and we use Pinboard. Uh, Pinboard's great. I like Pinboard. Bookmarks held on save places in the Map app. Actually, I did use that, but the good news is your maps saved places are still in maps, which is where you thought they were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Chat base. That's about four years old. I don't uh, remember that one. It was at all. an analytic. You, it was an analytics platform for the Google's Dialogue Flow chatbot. Oh, jeez. 
Uh, I don't know anything now they bought this. Fitbit, remember, and uh, and uh, absorbed it. A couple, when did they absorb it? Fairly recently. They have now killed. They acquired it in 2019. They killed Fitbit Coach and Fitbit Yoga or Fit Star Yoga. Fitbit Coach was stupid. Okay. I didn't even know Fitbit Yoga existed. <laughs> okay. Take so that. No, you, no you sadness there. Thing. Uh, well, Fitbit Coach was just annoying because they, <laughs> like, it was a separate app. Anyway, we won't go there. It was a video-based standalone body weight workout app. Yeah. And it was this whole separate app, and it, it just, it didn't work well. It's going to, the, the base functionality, actually an improved functionality, will still be in the main Fitbit app, but there is no more Fitbit separate Coach app. separate app for Fit Star Yoga separate app. Tour Builder was a service been around since 2013 that allowed you to build interactive tours complete with images and videos inside Google Earth. Oh, I remember that, but but Google Earth still has similar tools, so this is... Yeah, I think we hyped this on the show this at been the time. Oh, that's so cool! Yes. Oh, really? When it first came out in 2013? I think we did. Wow, of course we did. Expeditions <laughs> and Tour Creator. This is a... Uh, well, Expeditions is the one we This we is. Loved. Yeah, but this is the VR platform you'd use with yeah. cardboard. It right. basically, oh. the, you know, the... Students could go anywhere. Yeah, it's cool. American Natural that Museum. That was neat, yeah. Natural, was neat. Nat yeah. natural history. Goodbye. Uh, tour creator has been killed off. Okay, Polly. Never heard This of was launched in 2017. A repository for 3D objects. You What's could, the metaverse going to do without them? Apparently, that's why they're killing it. The metaverse went on without them, uh -huh. leaving Polly in the dust. Wait a minute. Google Play at movies and TV, which we're not talking about. <laughs> okay, this was replaced by Google TV, but... This is like our chat brandy now. I don't even understand. Anyway, yeah, whatever. It's gone. Measure is gone. We knew that. This is uh, the oh yeah the, that made us the sad. AR app yeah you can't yeah. measure your own banana anymore yeah banana for scale <laughs> ah, nope no nope, longer nope. stop it there keep going keep going, <laughs> keep going. Yeah. zinc render uh, it was a developer focused platform a cloud rendering service for animation and visual effects they bought it in 2014 killed it in 2021 it was used. In American Hustle, Transformers Dark Side of the Moon, and Star Trek Into Darkness. Hmm. Uh, Timely. They killed Timely in, back in May. That was the alarm clock. Um, oh, well. No more service. The whole thing uh, is gone. Oh, I used Timely. I remember that. Because you'd set the alarm on any device, and every device would now have an alarm, and all your devices would go off at once. Oh, no. No, that was good because uh, oh. you might have left your phone in somewhere else. But everything you have, the whole thing would go off. I actually yeah, liked I Timely. I got mad at you for that once. Timely was a really nice clock. I, that's sad. They, so that even the servers are gone for that one. In April, Google Shopping, the app was killed off. In March, Google Public Alerts and Google Crisis Map. I'm sure there's something to replace that. Google Go Links in March. The shorten, link shortening service. Google Cardboard. Oh. I remember when you and Gina came back from Google I.O. <laughs> Tried to put it together in the back seat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Gina did it. We couldn't. It was under everybody's seat at Google I.O. Yeah. Uh, yep. and Swift for TensorFlow. Uh, you probably know about that, Stacy. I don't. Uh, it was Apple's Swift language combined with Google's TensorFlow open source library. Um, yeah. Yeah. And Tilt Brush, which was a really fun application, a VR application. On. But yeah, it's still open, open source. source. Yeah, yeah. The, Did this person unironically use the phrase funnest VR applications? <laughs> Tilt Brush was one of Google's funnest VR applications. I so many. think that is an unironic use I think so. of the superlative... Of the pseudo superlative funnest, it yeah. should be most fun. Yes, it yes. grates. I'm just gonna it does say great. it grates a little. I think, though, uh, as we've learned in our magnificent bastard tongue, 
words become acceptable over time. I, I know. I know. I'm like, oh, is that is that a word that is about to become acceptable? I think so. It's and I think you nailed it because I think it was used originally, ironically, like a kid would say funnest. And adults, when they said it, were being ironic. And then the as often as the case, by the way, with languages, it shed the irony. And all that remained yeah. was the glitter. Well, I was reading today or, about magazines through the century. Because I'm working on a project about that. And yeah. time, I didn't know this. Time invented all kinds of new words, including tycoon, oh. socialite, oh. pundit, oh. kudos, oh. estimate, male chauvinist, and televangelist. Wow. I was At oh, first, I it sounded words. like it was all Gatsby era, but I see some of the more recent stuff coming up. Wow. Good for time. Yeah. How did, did they, they invent sus? <laughs> what? Sus. Sus. Things being suspicious. Like I, oh, sus. Oh, that's sus. Frank Norris was credited with naming World War II in 1939. Because mm. at the time, there'd only been one. Yeah. I don't think it was hard. It's like Web 3. <laughs> yeah, right. It's not hard. I was like, I was like okay, it's I the, guess we'll give the, him credit. It's the next World right War. What, what, what should we call it? The next World War. The one uh, after World War. I guess it could have been World one War II. We're going to call it 1A. <laughs> one the sequel. Oh, uh, what? But when okay, um, that one's obvious. But like, if you use the word tycoon, it, how is anybody supposed to know what you're talking about? I don't know, right? Because I mean, we now know what. Well, that's like we we talked about unicorn companies for a year. You had to describe unicorn. I guess or a true. company that's yeah, valued yeah. in excess of a billion yeah. dollars, and now we're just like, oh, and it's then, a unicorn. Did wasn't there an F. Scott Fitzgerald novel, The Last Tycoon? So obviously, it got picked up pretty quick. It's also a title applied to foreigners to the shogun of Japan in power between 1857 and 1868. That sounds oh, that's where it came from. So maybe it was the late 19th century that from the Japanese tycoon, it. Yeah. great okay. lord. There you go. That's okay. In uh, the very first thing Google killed this year was the Loon project to put internet connectivity in a balloon in the stratosphere. Oh. Yeah, and you know, last year when we did the show, remember we did a show and we predicted what they were going to kill in the coming year. I have no idea oh. what we said they were going to kill, but I'm curious how well we did. Let's not go to that tape. <laughs> <laughs> there was drinking. It was Mary Jo Foley, Micah, I think. Yeah, was oh, we should Micah find that. that show. Uh, we should oh, no, that, that was like two years ago because that okay. was last year was COVID. Right, it was. It was the last one before That's the, COVID. It's the, the life disappeared. That's the one so where, the that's night, the one where Anthony Nielsen made each of us different drinks to based on our oh. personality. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one more thing. The first app to be killed in 2021, the first app was App Maker, uh, which I had used actually to make apps. I, they say, in uh, Android Police says in this article that it was for businesses, but I'd used App Maker to make apps, and it was actually pretty cool, so... There you go. That's the official. Then that's the change log. That's the ultimate change log. Those. <laughs> this is the life change. That's log. the doom log. The doom log. Thank you, Android Police, for putting that all for working hard together. Man. Yeah. 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 With commentary, nonetheless. Yeah. Well done. The funnest commentary. It's, so, <laughs> is the next stage mostest funnest? Or most, most funster. Yeah, I don't know. It's funster. 